Well, I've always been good at prognostication, and I mentioned something in a video about a week ago on a hot tip that I got that I knew was coming. Uh, the megapixel wars are certainly over. The uh, next war is uh, in dynamic range. Uh, all the camera manufacturers know this, with others, some other things. As I stated, within the next 24 to 48 hours, uh, Nikon will announce the Nikon D5. Um, what else is going to roll out for uh, 2016? Nikon is going to come out with a new speed light, and uh, I've uh, heard that the information is is that what they're going to do is it might kind of murder uh, the pocket wizards to a certain degree because they're going to have uh, built-in uh, Wi-Fi triggers, so you can actually drop, and of course it'll be insanely expensive, <laughs> you can drop your speed likes like Easter eggs, which would be wonderful, and uh, you'll have uh, built-in uh, uh, activation menu via your Nikon DSLR. Uh, probably be a firmware update, uh, especially, this is already actually planned because the Nikon D750 that I'm filming this on already has Wi-Fi built into it. It is only a matter of a firmware update that will allow that Wi-Fi, instead of transmitting, uh, you know, image data to your computer, yeah, Nikon thinks ahead, same thing as uh, everybody else, so it's already built into your D750. It'll be a firmware update that uh, will allow it to uh, send a trigger signal to uh, your speed light, the new breed of speed light. That's not, God knows how expensive the new Nikon speed light will be. I mean, that's anybody's guess. Nikon already announced a new speed light. But uh, really, <laughs> it is the case. Most people don't know this. People look at like an old Nikon speed light and a new one, and the new one is incredibly complicated but it's all the same BS except for uh, a lot of uh, useless uh, uh, pixie fart uh, dust uh, menus that you know 99 you know well 90 percent of what exists in a Nikon D9810 uh, SB910 excuse me is, is uh, some useless frou-frou now uh, doing the zoning on uh, multiple speed lights and you know all that stuff is incredibly useful but there is a whole lot of frou-frou in a Nikon uh, current uh, Nikon speed they're very very complicated because that's what scares the crap out of people they go to a camera store and they go damn man this speed lights more complicated than my uh, Nikon DSLR is <laughs> but that's what's gonna roll out uh, those cameras that already have Wi-Fi I'm predicting that uh, the firmware update will allow Wi-Fi signal for wireless flash transmission to occur uh, the other thing that uh, I know is rolling out, because Canon has already rolled out one, and I know exactly where cameras are going. I've always been good at predicting the future. I mean, I could always see ten steps ahead. Maybe that's why I was chess champion in high school and college. This will be uh, full-frame uh, sensors uh, with DX pixel pitches. Canon already rolled out theirs. It's like a 4.14 micrometer pixel pitch. Technically, it's not a 50 uh, megapixel sensor. It's like a 56 but it's only sampled at 50 due to buffer and AD conversion and SNR firmware issues because you, there's only so much friggin data currently that uh, cameras can process especially in shooting continuous high and try doing that with 56 megapixels the camera would be just in, insanely slow on doing the uh, conversion and writing the data to uh, the, uh, the SD card or the compact flash card so Nikon, this is why people are saying, well, you know, Nikon rolled out that new 2470 lens that's worse. It's got better corner to corner and it's like a lot heavier. Why the hell? See, nobody else has mentioned this but me. I'm the only schmuck on earth that has mentioned this. People say, well, Nikon rolled out a new 24 to 70 lens and uh, it's got uh, five more elements in it and it's bigger and heavier and it's also got uh, vibration. They didn't roll out that new lens. They didn't have to add five elements to that lens, the new 2470, which was their flagship moneymaker for all professional photographers. They didn't have to stick in five more glass elements to compensate for vibration control. Okay, they didn't. They did. They added vibration control, which they knew they were going to do, but they added all those other elements to make way for their new series. I don't know if it's going to be a Nikon D850 or a Nikon uh, D900. Who knows what the hell it's going to be. But there are new flagship cameras that are going to be exactly like the Canon one that was just rolled out. And uh, they're just full frame sensors with DX pixel pitches. And the reason Nikon redesigned their flagship lens, and they're going to slowly redesign some of the other ones along the way. It takes a long time to redesign lenses, by the way. Uh, but the newer one obviously sucks worse than the old one. I mean, the reports are in. 
but uh, it, it's not as sharp, the image isn't as good. It's got too much damn glass in it. I mean, it is one heavy honking sucker, too. I mean, it is big. Um, so this is another thing, too, that you're going to have to expect for uh, 2016 and on, is that lenses are going to get worse. And uh, some people have scoffed at me, but I, I'm, I, I was proven right on the new 2470. Before it even came out and anybody had their hands on it, I said, that lens will be worse. Um, you can be a car expert, not have your hands on a car, as long as you know how it's designed. You can look at that and go, yeah, that's going to be crap. And I did the same thing with that lens, and I was 100% vindicated on it, as I knew I would be. So you're going to have to expect worse lenses rolling out. Now, lens technology really has not changed any as so far as technological leaps in the past 15 years. I mean, it just, it just hasn't. I'm sorry. You can kiss my fanny. Um, if you don't agree with me, but it's a, it's a fact. Uh, lens technology radically took a hardcore uh, improvement about 30 years ago, but most of it occurred, you know, about 50 years ago. I mean, we're talking about real crap lenses, because those old AI lenses are just as good. Some of them, many of them are just better than current ones are. Obviously, we've got less chromatic aberration now, but that's not all that important. Nikon's a flagship Portrait lenses have a lot of chromatic aberration. So do Zeiss's. Zeiss, um, uh, Planars, and Distagons, they got quite a bit of uh, chromatic aberration. So you're going to expect worse lenses. Uh, the thing that I mentioned for 2016 that's going to change is the new technology that's hush-hush that I told you is going to happen. Is the, new, uh, the new front, the new war, is going to be uh, in dynamic range. And uh, it's going to be adaptive zoning. So you got like uh, uh, 13 stops between your highlights and your shadows. I mean, like you got a woman uh, sitting in the dark of a cave, and then you can see the outside of the cave. I mean, you got some radical, you got some radical uh, difference between your highlights and your subject that's in the shadows. I mean, how the hell do you capture that? And what it's going to be is adaptive resistance uh, for a charge that actually hits the sensor. And it's going to require some technology that really has already existed for a few years now, but they're adapting it to cameras. And so now, instead of taking HDR images with your camera on the tripod, taking three shots, five shots, seven shots, and then combining all of those to get a perfect dynamic range, you'll be able to capture it. Boom! One picture. One picture, you're going to get perfect HDR. So that is the new war. That's the new front in uh, professional photography. It's actually it's aimed at the amateur market. Professionals don't give a shit about that because they're like, you know, fuck it. Here's my speed light. I'm going to illuminate this bra. I'm going to expose for the background, which is bright as hell. And then I'm going to pop a speed light right here. I'm going to flash this chick. <laughs> flash this chick in the foreground. Professionals don't give a shit about this. This is a douchebag... This is going to be a douchebag feature that's going to make uh, amateur uh, photographers and button sniffers go, Oh yeah, man! Awesome dynamic range. I mean, it's just going to be orgasmic for the, uh, the button sniffing hobbyist photographer. Which is exactly what it's aimed at. Now this is exactly what's coming for 2016 and on. Uh, Wi-Fi speed lights with TTL. Uh, the Wi-Fi technology already exists in the seven cameras, like uh, D750 I'm filming this on, and it's just going to be a firmware update on the camera side. Uh, I'm going to have uh, full-frame sensors with DX pixel pitches, as Canon's already announced, and that's what they're rolling towards, because SNR firmware has negated the advantage, most of the advantage, of, uh, of uh, large, uh, photo site, uh, larger photo sites, because the SNR firmware has negated out that large photo site gain, because... Noise has a frequency. I've made a dozen videos about this. The big photo site advantage is it basically has been reduced to very, very little now. You do still have better high ISO performance, but they're actually, they've destroyed much of that advantage. Um, worst lenses, as I've told you, like the new 24-70 is a worst lens, but nobody ever mentioned why the hell, like why did they roll out a new lens? Well, I've told you exactly why, and this is why. And uh, the, uh, the big uh, news front is going to be adaptive resistance zoning for just radical dynamic range. So the new war front is going to be dynamic range, and that's what's going to keep Nikon and Canon and all these other schmucks uh, making money because they're going to have to roll out new crap and improved crap and then slightly newer crap and slightly improved crap. Because they always got to turn out new. But they've always got this crap and uh, this stuff in reserve five years beforehand. So Nikon and Canon always have... The technology now, but it only gets dribbled out very slowly because they've always got to have a reserve. 
You think Nikon and Canon are worried about their cash flow? Well, of course they are. But what worries them more is that they always have to have a technological uh, drip bucket to keep pouring out the new, uh, new advancements uh, so they can roll out new gear every year or every quarter. Well, not every quarter. I mean, every half year or whatever. And that's actually the most important thing. Because without that, you ain't got no cash flow. It's like, well, what are you making new? Well, we haven't come out with anything new in four years. You're going to die. And that's just a fact. All large companies know this. If you don't have this drip bucket of new technology to roll out, you're going to die. And uh, this has been sitting on Nikon and Canon shelves. The uh, megapixel wars are over. Mostly. And it's going to be dynamic range. And uh, FX sensor, the DX pixel ditch, it, pixel pit. But uh, uh, most of all this stuff is, uh, is aimed at douchebags. This is going to be, this is going to be uh, the hobbyists are going to eat. The people over in diaper and pee review, they're going to go, oh yeah. And uh, the professionals are like, fuck it, who cares? You know, screw it, I don't give a damn. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. It's like, I don't got a dynamic range. I got a speed light in my pocket and I'm going to flash this chick. And I'm going to evenly expose her to the back. Professionals don't give a crap about this. Though. They could do to a certain extent. Uh, but like uh, What's-His-Face said, you know, the, the smarter the cameras get, the dumber the photographer gets. But people don't want to think. They're like, yeah, I'm going to spend thousands of dollars on this camera and it'll do all the thinking for me. What about the creativity part? Is it going to do any of that for you? Well, jeez. Anyway, that is the future. I brought it to you first. And uh, I will be proven right, as you will see. Thank you for watching. Catch you later. Another video from the Angry Photographer. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Go tell me jump off a cliff. Whatever you like the most. Catch you later. Happy 2016. Don't get drunk. Bye.